I have for some years been concerned about the problems of uh, dire poverty and what explained them uh, in parts of the world. And I came to this uh, as a, a microeconomist in a couple of areas. One, observing what to my mind has been a significant failure of the economic portion of what is called loosely foreign aid as opposed to health-based aid or, or more charitable aid uh, over the past uh, 40 years. We have spent uh, more than a trillion dollars in economic aid over that period. Sub-Saharan Africa is poorer writ large than it was uh, at the fall uh, of the uh, colonial period. And this period also coincides with some truly model, uh, modern growth miracles. Uh, there were countries over this period uh, that had started out in levels of poverty similar that uh, have prospered. Uh, some of those countries are, of course, large emerging economies uh, in Asia. I had worked very closely with President Bush on the design of the Millennium Challenge account, which was based on some work that I and others were working on on linking links between governance measures, institutional measures, uh, and growth. Uh, I think that the MCA has made some wonderful progress in many ways, but I think it has some issues that I will come to in the discussion uh, of the ideas behind the aid trap. Again, the basic idea centers on the importance of uh, local business and the specific policy reforms that uh, we identify in the book as being analogous to the competition in the Marshall Plan center on the very simple measures produced by the IFC, the so-called doing business indicators. This borrows much from the overall logic of Bush's Millennium Challenge account, which was designed to promote institutional reforms. But problems in the Millennium Challenge account were that the funds did not really go to local businesses. They went to governments who were to support business, but it missed that step. That's an error I made and others made, I think, in the design uh, of the MCA. I would also suggest that this is an issue for the United States, not only for our economic interest and moral interest as a country, but also our foreign policy interest. China is pursuing a strategy in Africa that to my mind looks more colonial than it does the promotion of local business in Africa. Not only is the Marshall Plan a rhetorical device uh, for economists, it is also a way for the U.S. to have a very different perspective on African development, encouraging local business uh, and not simply the exploitation of resources. To close, I would just observe that when Marshall spoke at Harvard uh, in his uh, commencement speech, he said that it was really the breakdown of business during the war that was the problem that aid must solve. He was right then. The institutions of the plan would still work, uh, and I believe we can do this.